Did you know that smear tests have now changed? They only now invite you to have cervical screening checks to test you for HPV because it's found in over 99% of cervical cancers. Yes, smear tests have changed and this means that your result letters could look a little different. So the actual cervical screening, also known as a smear test, process will be the same for you. But it's how the lab processes the samples that's different. So what does that mean? Well, cervical screening now checks first for high-risk types of HPV, and that's the virus that causes 99.7% of all cervical cancers. And if that's present, only if that's present, they might go on to look at the cells in more detail. Now, most of us will get HPV at some point in our lives. It's super common, there's different types, and it's passed on through skin-to-skin -skin contact or during sex. And in the majority of people, it clears up on its own without causing any harm. But in some cases, HPV sticks around longer than it should. And when that happens, it can start to cause changes in the cells of the cervix over time. So, your results letters might say, firstly, HPV negative. Great news, there's no high-risk HPV found, so you'll usually be invited back for your screening at the regular intervals. It might be three years or five years, depending on where you live and how old you are. Next, it might say HPV positive, no abnormal cells. And this means that they saw the virus was present, they took a closer look at the cells from the cervix, but they were all normal. And this means you might be invited to come back for another cervical screening in about 12 months time, but usually your immune system will clear the virus by then. Next, it could say HPV positive with abnormal cells. And that's the situation where you might be invited for a colposcopy where we can take a closer look at the cells of your cervix. Or the result letter could say unsatisfactory sample, doesn't mean anything's wrong, it just might not have been enough of a sample to take a closer look and to give you an answer, so it probably needs to be repeated. So was your cervical screening result letter really confusing? Let me know your experience below.